Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina. I am super excited to be here with you today to go over a fabulous new stroller from Thule. We have the brand new Thule Urban Glide 3. So that is what you are looking at uh, directly in front of me here in this fabulous color called Mid Blue. Um, this is a really cool offering from Thule. So why I'm excited about this is that Thule has done the Urban Glide strollers as long as I've been working. And the Urban Glide 3 is definitely an upgrade from their older model, the Urban Glide 2. The biggest difference that I'm noticing right off the bat is going to be the textiles. So the look of the stroller has improved. Um, there is a new frame, but if I zoom in here, you're able to see this textile set is absolutely gorgeous. The type of material that they're using for it is going to be significantly nicer than what you got on the Urban Glide 2. Urban Glide 2 sort of reminded me of that old windbreaker material from the 90s, which was like very, you know, shiny and sort of had that slick feeling to it. Here we still have the weatherproof uh, material, but it just is significantly upgraded, looks a lot better, and you would be completely like less embarrassed to push this around anywhere. So I am loving that. Um, no offense, Thule, but this is significant upgrade. The other thing that I thought that was really nice on this newer model. So biggest thing about Thule I should say too is Thule has always been sort of like an outdoor brand there from Sweden. The thing that is really nice about this option is that it has a 16 inch rear tire, a 12 inch front tire. They are air inflatable. This is a true running stroller. So when I say that I mean the front tire has the option of locking both in front of the frame which there's just a dial and you spin it to the picture of a padlock that's locked, the front wheel will lock forward. But if you are going just maybe on an athletic walk and you don't need such a large triangular plane of stability for your down stride, you go ahead and lock it and have the wheel lock under the frame uh, back in the direction toward the parent. So you have the option to do either here. That's very exciting. But uh, the point of the story is that this product has always been more focused on performance over features. So Urban Glide 2 is awesome for the performance. It feels very lightweight to push, but there were things that consumers hated about it just as far as like usability. So one of the things was that the seat didn't sit very upright. Another thing was that when you engaged the canopy, it wasn't long enough. And additionally, there was a window that sometimes you weren't able to close. Now they've addressed that. They've made the canopy have a complete uh, coverage, which is awesome. You have a beautiful peekaboo window here, and it is true peekaboo in terms of that. It is plastic with the ability to look through. You're able to close that up so it's not like it's always exposed to the sun. You do have the option to shade it, but on the back here, you have a nice big mesh ventilation and that is able to be open or closed. The old model was always open, so it could definitely be a little bit chilly. Um, this is nice because now the parent has the opportunity to decide what works best for them. Um, so in addition, you also have a more uprighted seat position. So if you are so inclined, you can actually push it to where it's sitting significantly more upright than the older model. And one of my all time favorite features to see come back, I haven't seen this since uh, the baby jogger, God, city uh, elite. So that was a long time ago. Here we have a foot piece that is able to pop up with a wire that gives the child actual leg support. So I haven't seen leg support on a running stroller. I mean, Bumble Ride has it on the Indy, but that's a 12 inch rear tire. I haven't seen this type of feature on a 16 inch rear tire in forever. And I don't know of anybody else that has it. So um, very exciting feature. You still have your two cup holders on the side. And of course, the one handed fold, uh, very clear indication on it what to do locks and it will stand when it's folded provided you get the handle in the correct position uh, prior to folding which i did not do but it can stand when it's folded um, the stroller weighs 26 pounds it will hold 50 pounds in the seat and then 25 pounds in the basket there is a manual lock on the side that you engage to open it which is pretty easy the basket is covered. I love a covered basket. 
if you're actually running, stuff is going to bounce around. You have the option to keep it closed or to open it up. And the interior of it has an actual plastic bottom. You also get a very nice zippered pocket on the back of the basket. So if you want to hide your cell phone or anything else, you're going to be able to hide it down there. You have a flip-flop friendly brake. Uh, it's a five position height adjustment on the handle height. It's a flip-flop friendly brake now. So if you are wearing a sandal and you want to undo it, you're going to be able to do that without hurting your toes, which I think is really clever. And as I said before, it has a new frame. So what does that mean? That means that the accessories thankfully go on significantly uh, more easily than the older model. Now the older model is great, but I do think that this upgraded fabric, the upgraded canopy, and this new frame feels to me like it pushes even better than the old one, which is shocking because the old one probably had the best lightweight push for a long distance run. I'd also point out with this stroller, it retails for $650. You can get a bassinet for it uh, sold separately. So if you want it to be a three wheel with a full bassinet, you're gonna be able to do that. These pieces simply slide directly uh, onto the stroller. And keep in mind, I haven't uh, done this at all yet. This is going in blind. I haven't looked at the stroller even for two minutes to figure out how to do this. And I'm able to figure it out in one second. So I would say that is... It takes maybe a little finesse, but I did get it. Pat myself on the back. And as you can see here, this is an adapter that'll work for a number of brands. So right now, I'm going to put the Nuna Pippa Air on there, as you saw clipped in beautifully. So that went on nicely. Um, we're able to remove that. And then let's try the Cybex. Uh, cloud reclining infant car seat that will also snap on no problem and even recline very cool so those are the maxi currently Cybex Nuna adapters available sold separately um, the car seat adapters are sold separately most everything with this guy is going to be sold separately which isn't the end of the world a lot of your premium products are like that but the stroller itself will retail for $650 um, and comes in three colors black this new green which I think is called like golly natural green not I don't know you'll have to look it up but it comes in a green it comes in this mid blue and it comes in black 650 um, and then just buy whatever accessories you want buy the adapters for your car seat buy the adapters or buy the go ahead and buy the bassinet which is fabulous as well uh, so if you have questions or comments please feel free to leave them below please feel free to hit like please feel free to uh, subscribe and I'm trying to see too. Oh, we have a handbrake. That's the other cool thing. So instead of a squeezing handbrake, you have a center handbrake where you're able to twist and stop the stroller. If you're in a hilly area, that would be super amazing. And the cables don't even get in the way. The handle material is foam. Um, all right, thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to watch our other videos. And if it makes sense to share this with someone, go ahead and do that as well. We will see you in our next video. We're gonna check out the Thule Urban 4, so exciting.